So just start. Did you say it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a and then raise your left foot, raise your left foot, step out of the left foot, and just check your posture, just gently breathe in and out. So you want to, you want to sink the hips, so you sink the hips by first rising, first you rise, then you sink down, and then you relax your shoulders, and we're all breathing in and out. And just let the arms relax. You just want to breathe. Uh, I just breath as it comes in. I just breath as it comes out. And then we'll do rolling. We'll do rolling. So you move the hips to one side, to the front, to the side, and to the back. So very small, subtle. So, do the party see it at all? If you have to pick the worst day, you're short, but that's not easy. Each other, so it's not too bad. It's okay in this room, but I, I really feel my, my knees uh, this morning. Yeah, chilly, yes. Yeah, so, so, we've had our summer. <laughs> that is the winter. What was that? Yeah, what was that? We had summer for one day, didn't we? Oh, I can't stand straight back in the Yeah. Well, my, my, my friend Sue, that works in the hedgehog hospital, uh, she's going to have a whole bunch of all the hedgehogs because they've all had baby hedgehogs and they're supposed to. And now they, they, they will probably need to go and hide So there we go. So it's just it's very unpredictable. So it's just very, very slow, very slow. Relax the shoulders. Breathing. Oh. So I'm at Hedgehog Hospital. My friend Sue Stubby is studying this. She's, I've got to go and at some point what I do every now and then, maybe once or twice a year, I drive up. With uh, coffee and walnut cake, not for hedgehogs for her. Yorkshire tea, a great big milk, and um, cat's food. But the jelly, the, the jelly, not the great for the, for the hedgehogs, so preferably not the fish. I don't like fish much, but yeah. So they're always, and, and the little bowls, if you know you have a chocolate dessert scene, the little bowls, I give her a whole load of those because the hedgehogs can eat the food out without the bowl being be great. So, <laughs> she's very new being there. I'm thinking they can Oh, are you one of the volunteers? No, we never know what happens. A lot of them don't. But they're not very. It's fallen down. We went to the house and fallen down. It was one of those places where the windows garden and the farms. Oh dear. We don't have a thing. Yeah, she she gets a bit annoyed if you call the hedgehog Spike or Sonic or uh, what else do you call? Larry. Just a look behind her. Did you get it? She goes, Oh, what's this one called? Spike. Spike. <laughs> so she She likes one in the wrong name, so maybe. Maybe it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Maybe good. Yeah. I'll tell you, this is quite a good one. So we just very slow. Very slow. Just so you're, you're not bending anything, you're just very gently rotating. And you're feeling your dancing for the center, energy center of the body, one of the energy centers. And then go in another direction.
So sorry about the noise, they're, they're putting things back together and chopping hedges or bits of the roof. So. So I, I spent four days trying to do that to change our way. And it really was amazing. And I really, really, really hope it's coming back next year. And I will just say that and see it for more than four days. And really, yeah. Check your your The classic grand master was very specific about expecting your number. Correct. And he was going around adjusting people and moving the things in the right place. And then he noticed that someone might have a shoulder slightly higher than the other or a tightness around here. And then he'd, he'd kind of come over and feel it. It's quite slightly like kind of go to some people and see what he was doing. Just very, very, very interesting. And then um, yeah, just noticed the picture. And then he placed his hands in an area of the Angry, angry, and angry, and then he adjusts it, and then it was like, and then you see the first go, and then you go happy, happy energy. So when you're aligned, your energy is happy. If you're misaligned, your energy is angry. So you won't want to be angry, you won't be happy. So get yourselves, take time, and it takes time to light yourself up. And one thing I was particularly struck, I mean, Rosemary, she, she spent a day with him. Um, it was quite intense, wasn't it? And uh, just how unhurried he was. How unhurried he was. No point. And he moved so slowly, and I had time for it. So we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do this one now. So you go round and round in your circle, make a circle with the feet. So it's called circling. So, exercise. And we stay in that same direction. Now, when we did this, we did it for at least 10 minutes each direction. 10 minutes. And move slower. Do it even slower than what we're doing. Really, really slow. Really, really, really slow. And I, out of curiosity, I timed it. Well, I sort of compared it. He was moving really, really, really slowly on the Sunday. Really, really slow. And um, I thought, oh, I wonder. Because it had been raining, there was like snails outside. I thought, oh, I wonder if he was moving the same as a snail, or faster than a snail, or slower, slower than a snail. And then when the snail moved, he actually moved faster. The snail, and I was like, oh, okay. So I, I'm, I've been trying to actively slow everything down. And not that there's anything wrong with fast movement, fast movement is also good. But getting really, really slow. Yeah. Really nice. I don't know if doing it right or not. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't know just relax and calm. So the other thing you do, you adjust everybody, you go up, and then you go calm. Down. And then it was like, do you pin drop? And everyone would go, it was fantastic. So it's part of that. Yes, it's coming to the feet. So you're going heel, heel, all the foot toes, all the foot toes. Or he just said left, right, left, right, circle. So it's going in a circle. And that's it. So I'm getting into slow movements so I can catch because I'll see my nieces later tonight. They're very 
but running around. Hot. So, the They're very fast snails. Really fast. I was shocked. Like, because they were just, and there was a whole load of them. They're beautiful. They've got all these different patterns. The other thing is, from being so slow, Right, mm -hmm. some like so hard. I mean, there was a guy who took the teaching since 1980, and then he went, Oh no, I'm coming back this afternoon, I'm too tired of that. And I'm like, oh. And I, I found it, I couldn't take anything in the I only managed to remember three movements from the entire day because my brain has gone overloaded by that. So that was my whole day of training with it, but my, my brain just went. But the important thing to think of is actually turning up, showing up. Even if you do a complete travesty, you, you show up. And that's a lot, that's only the only thing to do. So it's going like that. Now just allow yourself to say it. Allow yourself to say it. Really do it. So you should now, now check your feet, then let the move, get them nicely lined, get them nicely lined up. <clears throat> and then we'll do like this. So, so very, very tiny movement. Tiny. So um, I'll just come a bit closer for the viewers at home. For the viewers at home, look, very tiny movement. Tiny movement. You're still, you're still turning your way. This is sinking. And a tiny movement. Tiny movement. That's it. Nice. And breathe. Make sure you breathe. So you're not twisting. You're just gently, gently rotating. Tiny. And really let go. Really let go in the shoulder joint. So this this joint, this joint, really let go. And um, it just continues. So when I was noticing, he was doing this. Yeah. And then some of the other people were like, yeah. and I'm like, but he's not doing that. He's doing this. Very small, very soft, very slow. And every now and then, he kind of just relaxed a bit. Little adjustments in his body. So you might want to do that for a bit and then you come back to it. And you're just trying to find that reminder. And then the other thing is he's kind of lifting people up and then putting them back down again, which reminded me of when, when my nieces were little, uh, small, they, they could sit up, but they couldn't do much, they, they could crawl a bit, they couldn't do much else. Then you could feed it and then pick them up and then you put them in the special chair and you have to get the baby legs through the leg, baby leg holes correctly or, or on the back. So. If you're putting your baby on the bouncer, you have to, and then it will set them down. <laughs> so it's a bit like that. That's what you want to do. So you kind of rise up and then pick yourself in the baby bouncer so you can do it properly. Because when they're in the bouncer, their posture is very good. And uh, they're, they're bouncing and their arms are relaxed. So it's like you're imagining. So we're just doing that. See? <laughs> So I can show you how he does in first sort of being exercise. What we'll do is we'll do a little bit of standing and a little bit of this little preparation. Preparation exercise. Um, which eventually will become part of the 16 sounds, but unfortunately by then my concentration had completely gone. I was following along with things, but none of it was going in. It was like, you know, it's going in there, out there, the tumble weed was going in the other direction. So, um, but I stayed put and I showed up. So I was still like, I just stood there suddenly. Um, <laughs> nice. So then just 
Right on top. Right. Rest from that. So he actually, when I was first taught Daniel, obviously he had to do that. But actually, he brings his elbows quite close to him. His elbows are quite close in, and his hands are that. If you want to relax the thumbs, and this is bringing back Henry's rosary. <laughs> yeah. You want to relax the thumbs, and you just, we won't do this very well because it's quite intense. And you're, it's like you're perched on a high chair. I think I think baby bats, I love, 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 love to have my like this adult baby bats because I get all my, because it really loosen up the back and I'm really be able to practice my high chi posture. And then if anyone's walking across and there's something in the garden, like, oh, I'll do the box and the high chi. We should make a baby bat so yeah, you could get the, the little texture. So, um, and those, um, what are those things called? Do you, you hold on to that? They're like a Pilates ball. But, uh, oh, space hopper. Space hopper. Space hopper. Very good for practicing Tai Chi. You just sit there and you bounce on your space hopper. Um, the only problem is it doesn't last very little because um, um, Mo, who was much younger than me, wanted to have a go on the space hopper. I bought it for my Tai Chi, that was my excuse. And then I ended up giving it to the thing. <laughs> so I do have it. So we'll do a little bit of the Chi Go exercise. You just relax, relax the hands, relax the hands. Just have a little bit of wiggle of the fingers and just very gently circle. Very gentle so and then just ah uh, and then put it back. Oh, the chin is tucked in slightly and the head is floating. So the back weight point is pointing here and the crown of the head. That's floating, and this is what it's like. And if anybody was to push at you, they just fly off. So you push your soda. So breathe in that. Okay, so imagine you've been standing like this for 25 minutes. So they just very gently, so we're time traveling now. Put the arms down. And then we'll do the, we'll do the um, open close exercise. So this is the one thing I remembered from Sunday. So you just breathe in, open. And move slower than the snail, please. So he actually moves slower than the snail. Fingers like this, and then they just come back. So keep the hands in the same shape. I'm just showing you from the So my arms are in front of the body. And then, then we wait for an interminable amount of time. Interminable. I, I actually, on Sunday, I actually had to go out of the sports hall outside on the street and skip for 10 minutes just to, just to move. It was just too much. But that's why. Yeah, looks very good. And same, 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 so imagine you've been doing this for an hour and a half. So let's do one more. So it, was, it was an hour and ten minutes, but. Mm -hmm. 
Because because I don't think so much of the culture, but I've been practicing really much, so I think it's working. So. so if you're a woman, place your right hand on your tummy. If you're a man, place your left hand on your tummy, and then put the other hand on top. And they have legitimate reasons for this. I are the acupuncture baby, and he said. It's very complicated, but it's to do with the way the energy works in women and the energy works in men. And I thought, that'll do. So there we are. So then bring your feet in together. Because you're moving so slowly and you're relaxing, you're actually engaging your quads, right? Your hamstrings. So when, when we did that for a how's that how we When we did that for an hour and a quarter, and we got a really, really slow warm-up, I actually got my nose, I got my three three times. And I had to ask one of my friends and do my legs look big, you know? Because they felt, because of the circulation here, and I was really working them. And I checked, and my legs are the same size as they'd always be, but it was freaky. Yeah. You know, it does. Yeah. It works for legs, but we need legs that work. Can you say you expect it in something? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Have a feeling about that. Yeah. So, when you're moving slowly, you're exercising your muscles in a postural manner. Yeah. You're actually properly engaging your postural muscles. And because normally we don't move that slowly, that's why it's hard work. Uh, so for example, you're, you're, you can do very, very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Oh, and if you did that, if you practice your getting in and out of the chair that slowly, you'd really get very less. You wouldn't need to use any models. So just yeah, I was I was kind of thinking now how can I use this slowness for because uh, I've done the Tai Chi for rehabilitation. And actually, to one moving rather than it's good to move fast, but when we do the you know, that's the two to the arrow, moving, but also you need to be able to move slowly. Really so, um, let's do preparation exercise. You can do this. So, what we'll do, we will do a getting in and out of chairs thing. I mean, I mostly do that on the Monday, Monday uh, morning classes. Um, but we will do just because it's good practice. No, 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 not that, not that, because that, yeah, we, we're going to do preparation exercise. So, so see, raise your left heel and step out. You're doing this in the chair, it's fine. Check your posture. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. This is the preparation exercise. Rotate, palms up. Keep going, bring the hand over and then you gently stroking stroking down with your fingertips fingertips stroking down fingertips stroking down and then the fingertips touching lightly center and relax the thumbs you just very gently and then you just relax relax feel your posture feel your posture breathe in and out and this middle bit went on forever when we did it with and we did the grandmaster chair, and I just go and go backwards a bit, so I've got more room so it's in the camera, and then we just do it again. So just really, really. 
Stroking, stroking, stroking. So this is the first half. How are we doing? We've got that. Yeah. I, I think you've all got that one. Now we do the second half. So normally you do this consecutive. So the second half of this exercise, same opening. Breathing in, relax. So you rotate the shoulder, drop the elbow, yeah. and fingers raise up. Now this time, if you touch lightly the head, and you go back over the skull, over the skull, lightly brush your neck with your fingertips. Yeah, and then down. So this exercise, actually, from a scientific point of view, and then you walk. So now we're going to do forward and back. So now we know what we're doing. We've got that. So we don't need to practice that anymore. Just do it. So I'll do it three times for the back. We did it a lot longer for three times, but otherwise it takes a long time to even do one. So but this sort of genital stroking will be very good for your vagus nerve, uh, which is part of the autonomic nervous system. Look it up. It does lots and lots of things. The baby studies. But it will basically really calm down. So now we go past the one way point, gentle stroke, and then gentle, 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 gentle. Oh. Forward first. <clears throat> Wait, breathe, and then so just breathe natural just breathe naturally wait last round so when we did this i think we did this for a very long time and when you're already tired <laughs> that's where you are like it's okay just stroke the stroking is really nice really nice stroking there we go very nice so while you're waiting, notice how you're feeling, see if you need to make any little adjustments in your posture. So thankfully, Eli is now on his way to teaching Australia, so I didn't have a class at 6 a.m. So, oh, it's a bit character building there, 6 a.m. is high class on Wednesday. Nice and relaxed. And then place your right hand on the tummy, left hand on top. Uh, left hand on top for boys, right hand on top for girls. Yeah, I just read it with him. Yeah. I don't think he's had. Yeah, I'm putting my right hand. Now you're putting your right hand on your tummy if you're a girl, or your left hand on your tummy if you're a boy. Yes. Okay. So that was preparation exercise. And and there's a whole there are six more movements to learn. Uh, but I want to go and review them and get them in the right order. And they also come with the heating sounds and make the heating sound. But I need to go away and practice it. Uh, so, what we might do is maybe a bit of Tai Chi with them. So, I did a Tai Chi movie seminar as well as spending four days with Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang. I did a Tai Chi movie seminar. And uh, we've all got our rolling pits, and it would be nice to do that. We'll probably do that maybe in August. 
There's a bit of fun over the summer. Uh, well, I don't want to frown in the back of the car. She said, What have you got? <laughs> she said, If you're not thinking of hitting somebody over the head, so well, if you can, you know, as we get to work a lot, I'm going to have a to break, and then what we'll do is we'll look at silk bridging on the water. Um, and just just look at that. So, water break. Well, maybe you didn't say it goes on. No, of course, I'll check the mic on. Just a moment, you'll want it. And it felt, we did it for a long time. But it felt rather longer. Yes. So, when, when you do it, it felt like six hours. Six hours. And your knees slightly bent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to soften, you want to unlock, you want to unlock the knee joint. Right. Unlock the knee joint, because if they're both rigid, that's not going to work and it messes up the hip. You want your hips, like when you have a little baby, when you swing a baby and stand, that's what you want to stand up. Not, not the tender tension, though. Um, you know, uh, but, yeah. Oh, any other any other questions? And also from the any questions from no? No. okay great okay so silk reading number one he was very clear about what he wanted us to do I'll just come a bit closer for the video so. Um, we start like this, then like this, and then up like this, and then like that. And you stay square on, square on, then you turn, little finger down, palm slightly up, palm slightly up. Like this. So start again. One, two, palm out, out. That's not out, that is out, but out. Yeah, shoulder drop, raise the leg, step out, heel, touch, sink, 60% on the right leg, turn towards your left hand, towards your left hand, down, palm slightly up, slightly up, transfer the weight, Fingers point to the side, square on, square on, that's it. Turn the waist, arm down, transfer, arm out. Turn the waist, arm down, look slightly up, pop out, palm slightly. Transfer the weight. Turn the way. So you want to be not in a hurry to do the next bit. You want to do the bit that you want. Shoulders down. Shoulders down. Better. Better. Cross. Turn. Turn. Square off, turn, palm down, cross, palm out, palm out, turn, palm side. And how to do that? Transfer the weight. Turn. Arm down. Transfer. Turn. Transfer. 
transfer turn. So so the energy goes to the hand. As you turn, energy goes to the elbow, cheek to the elbow. Chi to the dantier, or dantier. And then as you turn, chi goes to the back. So you feel a stretch here. There's like a stretch here and you release the stretch. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Bring the foot in. Four, four, out. Sing down, raise the other heel, step out. Second, turn. Transfer the weight, square on. Hands to hold. Turn, palm down. Transfer the weight on out. Relax the sh shoulders, level, hips sinking. Energy calm. So she goes from elbow. She goes to the dantian, is what you say. She goes to the migment in the back. She goes to the hand. One. Two, three, square, turn, So look, I'm upright, upright. Transfer the weight. Turn. Transfer the weight. Much better, much better. So you want to, when you're um, doing this, you want to keep your shoulders level. If you lift your arm up, you're going to get very sore shoulders very fast. When your shoulders level, shoulders level, shoulders down, shoulders down, that's it. Turn, transfer, turn. Two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and And, yeah, do you feel that you know it's a bit weird? You put a lot of work You put a lot more, yeah, a lot of people still. So I know it's that early, I know it's going to die. But then it's so uh, it's 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 it, very good and also it, it will help. You. Does anyone has anyone got any sensation of like tingling in the hand or anything like that? I mean it might have been too soon, but when we did it for a long time, when we stopped. I was kind of, and then I was like, oh, oh my, my hands are really hot. It, it's very strange. So I'm not relaxed enough. I'm too busy watching you. That would come. That would be oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The try, try out. Yeah. yeah, but you notice know where you're still. So have another look. Let me demonstrate. Right, guys, if you want to join in, feel free. I'm just going to. So I'm not doing it so flowing, I'm just doing resting. I'm just pausing at each stage at the moment. I'm pausing at each stage to make sure I've set my body up and I've got myself in line as I possibly can. 
So let me just. Yeah, I'll, I'll be recording some um, new compositions um, of mine with different birds. I've got one from dawn, one for evening, and then the nightingale at night time with an owl, with a tawny owl, the kind of duet, well, trio, it's me and my, my cello. And um, we had to keep forwarding the door course because of blooming cooking. Well, this is the microphone. And then now people aren't going to want to listen to that. They'll try to So just now, now smooth it off. Oh, this is this is going a lot faster than the grandma will do to get you doing the stages for a good time. But now see if you can smooth off the corners, round off the corners, and see how that is feeling. See how that. Is. So you're, you're feeling the waist shift, you're feeling the waist turn. Okay, now try that the other side. You don't do all the... So you can, you can feel this open, and then you turn, comes around like this, and you're upright. Then you transfer the weight. So if you, sometimes if you have a break, do something else and then come back to it, you might find it more relaxed. How, how are you feeling now? Are you feeling more relaxed? No, um, no, I'm not going to stay still. I'm 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 going to stay still. And then have a little shake out because I'm just completely emerging to your legs. But do you know, we can't be done anything. And almost an hour, it's not quite, yeah, it really does fly. But one thing I really liked in the seminar was that he was doing the very long break thing, like what we did at Kingfisher's Bridge. So the, the key people can then go and do lots of extra practice. But you actually need the space from learning to go and try this stuff out in yourself and try and make it work for you rather than relying on an outside entity to follow. Then we were going into groups. I go, what was he doing? Well, let's practice together. We practice together. It's really, really nice. Or some people practice on their own. Or some people were sitting down with tea. Everything's work, everything's fine. You know, you, you go in at your pace and you have to work out how you manage it. So um yeah, I I, I had to cancel the Burwell House thing. I found my heart said it's just not the right climate for next year. I don't think we'll get we'd end up spending a fortune in um the lost deposit, so I'd rather I'd rather spend that money with grandma. So thank you very much. And um, uh, but we will be doing something. I'm going to ask Tash if I can borrow this whole place. Tash is stepping down. Oh, she's stepping down. Who's yeah. going to be the big Tash? I might do it, but I'm a bit scared. But you're doing it. I might do. Oh, when do you want to? When we go on to the dead guy, it will be the, 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 the second weekend in April. What, you don't have all months? Yes. I'll go and have a look. I'll try it out. Please do that. I'll try it out. Second week in April. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. So weekend retreats. But I thought we might as well have it here. We've got the kitchen. We've got chairs. It's peaceful as long as they're not doing drilling. Um, we do this big one. Do it big. Do it big. I find this whole really relaxing. It's a very relaxing I love, I love coming. I love coming to the church, the church next door, mm -hmm. and I'll just sit there, yeah. and I'm just like, oh, it's lovely. Like, now do the little one. Do the little clock. It's the clock working. No, the church. Oh, it's the chime. It's it. We heard it last week. I don't even know the time. 
Yeah, it's kind of the Because they got an ego. Well, I was thinking it's some sort of energy back in the sun. Don't worry about it. It's nothing, so it's you. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a nice relaxation exercise. So starting here like this. And now with this one, I'm just going So I'm going into the toes, into the heels. And when you go more um, front of the heel, all of the foot toes. Front of the heel, all of the foot toes. So you're, you're moving from those heels. Now when you uh, push down the toes and come back up, so you can so into your feet. Because the feet are like springs. Feet to like so Eli, as well as doing all the rough and tough and fun stuff, he also does some very soft things. He's not, he's not as soft as the grandma's foot, but then he's not being alive as long. So, like this. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Sit down. Breathe in. Big breath in. Oh, actually, no, it's this one. Sorry, you got it wrong. Breathe in. Breathe out. So we do this three times in the beginning and then only once afterwards. And we should move feet. Yeah. Forward. Out. Back. Two. Yeah. Forward. Back. I can't count to three. I think we'll do one more and that'll be the third one, even if it was the fourth or the fifth. Okay, so that's the beginning, and then as you go forward and back to this, I'm walking forward and back, forward and back. Oh, beautiful, very nice. And then you come up, big breath, big breath, like a circle, big breath, hands come in, and then doing that, push. Stay still, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, forward. Breathe out, down, in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And that's the whole sequence. And I actually remembered it. Well done, me. Let's do that again. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. This is one of my favorite sequences. I did this one with uh, Eli. Breathe in. Breathe out. Big breath in. Breathe out through the mouth. Staying still. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soft in. Breathe in. Last one. Oh, then. Okay, just um just to completely change the mood now. 
Let's do but we'll do a gentle version of it. The forward, forward, back, back, forward, back, back, forward, 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 back, Eight, back, back. Oh, I'm going to give you loads of back. Ten. Rest. Set. Posture, Jen. Posture. Breathing. Calm the mind. Calming. So even when you're moving fast, one thing I was noticing with the grandmas when he was doing the, the fast movements, there was still this sense of real inner quietness and calmness. So you can move fast and still be completely calm. And um, it's very similar to the, the monks that go to the forest school in, was it Thailand, the forest school uh, meditation Buddhism thing. And they they do sitting meditation, they do the walking meditation, and the lying down meditation, but they also do the running meditation. So they go from mindful running all around the forest. And you can still be calm and breathing far, but it's easier to get that sense of calmness with the slow movement. But we're going to explore the calmness and try and keep calm while we're doing fast. Fast earth things. We won't be in too much of a hurry because I don't really want to ruin the mood. So now we do the other foot. Forward, forward, back, back. I'm just, you can put the heel down or the toes down. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It's just more. Five, that's it. Six, seven, eight. This is very good for developing, developing your balance in your fit line. Nine, ten. Okay, now backwards, backwards, forward, forward. So back. Back, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, forward, 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 Short steps, and you, you're going to the same spot. So, what you might want to do is put uh, some things like a couple of books in the front and a couple of books in the back. So, you step towards the book, but you don't kick the book back because you kick the book forward. So, it's like a short step. The next part of this exercise is my favorite bit. I just really like it. So, you go side together together. Side together, together, side together, together. It's not really this way. I'm doing salsa. I stay slow and slow. Side together, together, side together, together, side together, together, side together. Beautiful. Side together, together. So that's just to get the circulation going. I mean, calm, 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 calm down. And then eventually, it's like Irish dancing. <laughs> so you do it. Yeah. We'll keep doing that one. You could be just with a, with a, would they do that with their arms? Or if they, they haven't got naturally the curly hair, they'll put the lovely curly hair wigs on. Or and then they, and then they'll do that. Um, uh, I was one thing I learned about the Michael Flatley, he does this with his arm as well, which is sort of technically traditional, but you know. Yeah. So, a way to develop this, let's do it slowly. Opposite hands, forward, forward, back, back, forward, back, opposite, opposite. Yeah, this is going to really mess up with your brain. Messing up, obviously. messing up with the brain. <laughs> uh, do it slowly. Forward, 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 back, back. And just going forward. It's amazing how difficult it is to follow some kind of instructions, isn't it? Not really. It's easier than it was last week. It's easier than it was last week. Yeah, it's good. we've been practicing. Okay, now try. Now try. Do, we'll, we'll, so let's try backwards. Backward, backward, forward, 
for oh, that really messes up the final full front of the final range melting. Oh, it's not that. You can even do it into the. Da, 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 Together, together, work together, together, work together, 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 together,